alone and left behind. Despite Thursday's court order deadline for the Trump administration to return all of the children who've been taken from their parents at the border, about 700 remain in government custody. Most of them have parents who've been deported. And that should outrage all of us, that they took children, five-year-old and even younger children from their parents, with no plan whatsoever to reunite them, ever reunite them. The government has labeled these children ineligible for reunification. They include children whose parents have been deported or who, according to the government, have criminal backgrounds that make them ineligible for reunification. So not knowing when they get to go or if they get to go is horrific. They will have developmental delays. They will have uh, long-term chronic care problems. They will have regression in their developmental status. Good morning, everybody. Thank you for being here this morning. The government says every deported parent had willingly left their child behind. But in Immigration attorneys insist that's false, citing client after client who say they were forced to abandon their child. That's the question that all parents keep asking us. When am I going to see my child again? Some 1,400 kids have already been returned to their parents. Their emotional reunions taking place in detention centers, airports, and bus stations across the country. I was sad. It was hard because I wasn't together with my father. Thursday's court-ordered deadline for the government to reunite all children and parents separated at the border was a hard-won victory for civil rights activists. But this display of shoes left behind by migrants is a reminder of the many families who even now remain separated indefinitely. I want us all to remember that this is not the end, the end of the fight. Now comes the challenge of tracking down the deported parents and giving them back their kids.